Welcome back to the tutorials of the Flexi Soft Motion Control module Mock 1 Function Blocks. In this video we talk about the function block Safe Stop. The Safe Stop is used to trigger and monitor the Safe Stop of Drive System. So let's switch to the Mock 1 Logic Editor where we select the function block and place it into the configuration area. At first we focus on the relevant in and outputs again. From the input motion in, the function block receives all information provided by the encoders. In this context, I want to connect the output motion out from the function block position by reference with the input motion in of the function block safe stop. The input safe stop 1 as well as the input safe stop 2 are able to trigger the relevant safety function. The signal enable torque is used to switch off the torque of the drive system directly. Enable brake is used to switch off the power supply to the mechanical brake directly. Amplifier off triggers the shutdown of the amplifier via the PLC. The torque and the brake of the drive system can be switched off. The output stop request triggers the stop ramp of the drive. Ramp active shows if a stop ramp is activated. The output status shows if a fault is detected inside the function block. And last but not least, the output reset possible shows if a reset through the optional input reset or safe step 1 is possible. Because the function safe step 1 is executed normally after an e-stop was pressed, we have to route the signals of an e-stop from the CPU to the Mach 1. Therefore, we switch to the CPU logic. There I have already connected an e-stop to routing end-to-end -end function block. Now we have to switch in the left sidebar to outputs where we take bit 2 and connect it to the e-stop. After that we switch back to the Mach 1 logic. The output bit 2 from the CPU, which is connected to the e-stop, is now available here as input bit 2 in the register CPU3 of the tab inputs. So let's connect the signal of the e-stop to the input safe stop 1A. By double clicking on the function block the configuration menu opens. First we have to apply the values for axis type and units again. In the tab stop ramps I will explain the relevant settings with the help of this graphic. Here we can see the movement of the drive as well as a defined stop ramp when the safe stop 1 is triggered. At first we can define a delay time until start of the stop ramp. Moreover we can set a speed offset. That's an optional addition to the start of the ramp to prevent it from being exceeded accidentally. Additionally, we can determine the slope of the stop ramps by the parameters speed reduction and duration of speed reduction. In this context, up to 4 ramps can be set. Let's go further to the next tab standstill monitoring. After defining the standstill speed, we have the possibility to activate the standstill position tolerance window. Here we can define which relative position change still counts as a standstill during standstill monitoring. Let's have a closer look at the relevant graphic. In addition to the movement function and the defined stop ramp, we can see the relative position of the drive. When the drive reaches standstill speed, then the defined position tolerance window opens. Now, the relative position of the drive is monitored permanently. In this limited window, the drive is allowed to move and it still counts as a standstill. But remember, if the drive is exceeding the limits of the window, then the torque is cut off immediately. The optional setting Maximum Distance for Speed Filter defines the distance that the drive is allowed to move despite exceeding the maximum permitted speed. This function is explained in the following graphic. There you can see the movement function and the stop ramp again. Additionally, there is a defined maximum for speed filter. At this point the drive is moving in a forbidden speed. In this case we calculate the additional position movement the drive is making in the forbidden area. Because he didn't exceed the maximum distance, there is no reason for shutting down the torque. If the maximum distance is exceeded, as you can see there, then the drive has moved two long distances while driving in a forbidden speed. For that reason the torque of the drive is shutted down and the output status goes low because an error was detected. Let's go further to the next tab stop types. 
There we can set an off delay for the output enable break as well as an off delay for enable torque. In the next step, I will explain the configuration of SafeStop 1 with the following graphic. When the SafeStop 1 is triggered, then the defined delay time until start of the ramp begins. Now the speed of the drive is decelerated by the machine control and constantly compared with the current speed limit of the stop ramp. After finalizing the stop ramp and reaching standstill speed, the outputs amplifier off and enable brake are going low. At the same time, the safety function safe brake control is activated. This function permits the safe control of a holding brake. After that, the output enable torque is going low. For this reason, the safety function safe torque off is activated. This function ensures that no torque generating energy can be applied to an engine. As you can see there, the off delay from enable torque is typically set greater than the off delay from enable brake. For this reason, the torque is cut off only after the brake is closed. Here we can activate up to two inputs for the function SafeStop2. After triggering this safety function, the configured delay time until start of the ramp also begins. Then the speed of the drive is decelerated by the machine control and constantly compared with the current speed limit of the stop ramp. After finalizing the stop ramp and reaching standstill speed, the safety function Safe Operating Stop is activated. The position tolerance window opens after reaching the standstill speed. Now the relative position of the drive is monitored permanently. In this limited window, the drive is allowed to move and it still counts as a standstill. Consequently, the power to the drive remains on and the speed and position of the drive is monitored permanently. For that reason, the outputs amplifier of enable brake and enable torque are staying high. This enables the drive to perform holding control. That's it so far for the tutorial about the function block Say Stop. Now you've got to know how to combine it to other function blocks. Also, you learned how to configure the various parameters of the safe stop. In the next video we focus on the function block speed cross check.